Well, in tonight's season premiere of CSI, one of the guest stars of the show is from Lancaster. Forget about flash drives. This is the future. So let's say that we wanted to... It's not a person, but a prop, one that's catching the attention of groups from genealogy to law enforcement. This former ballet studio in Lancaster, now home to a small business, is a long way from Hollywood. But last summer, things changed. I was driving home on a Thursday night, and about 8 o'clock, I get a phone call. Sean Retchy didn't recognize the number. It's the prop master from CSI wanting uh, to use our product. Hollywood was calling for this. A DNA capsule. It was invented by Sean's wife, Stephanie. After her dad died from cancer, she wanted a way to dry and preserve a few drops of his blood for future genetic testing. There's so many things that they will do in the future with DNA. Just having that, that saved would have possibly helped one of my children make an important life decision. So eight months ago, she came up with a small kit. It has a tool to prick your finger for three drops of blood. The blood goes into a vial, which contains chemicals called a matrix. The matrix breaks down the, the blood, takes out all the water. They can actually take your DNA just by simply adding water, bringing it back intact. Word spread. And the Retchies got calls about their product from funeral homes, genealogy groups, laboratories, and police departments. Meantime, a writer composed a CSI script with what he thought was a fictional product. They got online and put in DNA capsule, a Pops's company that actually does dry state storage of DNA. And they were just in shock. And next thing we knew, we were sending them samples. Pretty cool device there. Sean says he promised the CSI producers not to give away the plot so he wouldn't share details with us when he, we did the story. We <laughs> hope you watched the episode, though. The Retchies did. They held a viewing party with friends. Congratulations. You can watch CSI every Wednesday night at 10, followed by 10TV News at 11.